Okay, we all know that Tesla is the leader on electric cars, but today we're gonna find out if they can hold their crown when it comes to trucks. We're here in Giga Austin in Austin, Texas for the Cybertruck delivery event. Today, we're gonna get the final specs of the Cybertruck. We're gonna find out the price, the range, and we're gonna find out whether this truck is going to succeed or fail. So let's get in, let's find out more about the Cybertruck. Not in a Cybertruck, but in a Toyota Tacoma. Yeah, buddy. All right, we're here. We're getting our way over to the event that's about to start in a couple minutes. This is super exciting, this light tunnel. It looks amazing. How do I look? It probably looks awesome, but super exciting. We got to walk through the factory and see a lot of uh, the front motors, the rear motors, the bed, and everything of that sort. So I can't wait to officially get all of the stuff revealed right now, just beyond here. So we're gonna go uh, watch it and uh, We'll see. I think all the Cybertrucks are going to roll through here, which will be really cool. So let's go see. Okay, the event just ended. We got all the details that we were looking for on the Cybertruck and here are my thoughts. 
Uh, number one, we got Tesla outbeat all of the other vehicles in its class um, when it comes to payload, when it comes to towing capacity, um, when it comes to price. And so I think that they did really well with the Cybertruck. The vehicle is amazing. We knew that. It looks just ridiculous, but ridiculous in a great way. It can't be damaged, it can't be broken. It just withstands bullets. It's phenomenal just how amazing this vehicle is and how polarizing it is. And there's nothing like this on the market. So when it comes to that, I think they did an amazing, excellent job. Now, four years ago, I pre-ordered a $50,000 all-wheel drive Cybertruck that was promised at 300 plus range. Four years later, Am I getting the 300 plus range? Yes, the all-wheel drive is coming in at 340 miles. However, the price did not sit at 50K. It bumped up not to 60, but to $70,000. A stretch for myself, but when you compare that with the market, it's actually in line and for what you're getting makes a lot of sense. Now, for those who pre-ordered the tri-motor vehicle four years ago, that one was promised at $70,000 and was promised 500 plus miles. They didn't come through with the 500 plus miles and that 70K is now $100,000. So quite a little bit, quite a lot of it has changed, uh, mainly the pricing and that's the inflation and the times that have changed over the years. So curious to know, what do you think? Leave them down in the comments down below. I'm not quite sure if I'm ready to make that double Tesla stretch to purchase my all wheel drive Cybertruck, but they sent me an email within the next 30, 60 days, I might find a way to make it happen. Tesla, send me my reservation, please. I might just pull the trigger.